Hi everyone, it's Steve Williams here, founder of the International Solar Clean Academy, or ISCA. Um, doing an unusual video today, rather a sad video as well, um, because it's been reported in the news yesterday that a solar panel cleaner has lost his life from a direct electrocution as a result of cleaning solar panels. So I'm just going to read to you all a very short news article, um, which really highlights and flags to all of us the need for training the need for electrical PPE while we're carrying out our day-to-day -day work. So briefly, the article says, a man died after receiving an electric shock while attempting to wash a solar panel on his rooftop during daylight in Rangpur. According to Rescue 1122, Mohammed Sal Saklain Khan was cleaning the panel in direct sunlight when he suffered a fatal electric shock and he died on the spot. His body was handed over to his heirs. Rescue officials have issued an advisory urging the public to avoid touching or cleaning solar panels during sunlight hours as active current in the panels poses risk of a serious risk of electrocution. So again, that's from Independent News Pakistan. I'll put the link below. So one of the things that I've had said to me as I've traveled around the world, um, training people is, well, are there any actual recorded instances of people dying from solar panel cleaning? And to date, I've said no. There's been many instances of electrocutions and I myself, I've made no secret, I've been electrocuted twice while cleaning solar panels. But this story is particularly poignant because it is the first published news story that I certainly have read where someone has died as a direct result of cleaning solar panels and the electrocution associated with that. So we would encourage everybody to take this particular example seriously. Um, there is a saying that when a ratio appears it tends to continue. This may be the first of numerous, as the years pass, electrocutions that lead to solar panel cleaners or people cleaning their solar panels losing their life. The article doesn't go into any detail as to what the fault was with the solar array or how it was exactly uh, that he died. But as we know, there are multiple points on a solar array that can lead to electrocution. The framework can be live, the system cannot be grounded properly, the connectors can be faulty, the wiring can be faulty. Um, and it's still surprising really when I see the amount of people that go about solar panel cleaning that are untrained, that don't understand the equipment that they're working on and who continue to work without the necessary PPE to protect themselves from electrocution. So I just wanted to flag this to everybody. We have suffered a death as a result of solar panel cleaning from electrocution. And I think that this is something that we can all look to, learn from, and hopefully as an industry grow from. So please make sure that you look after yourself while you're out there, make sure that you're trained, make sure that you understand the equipment that you're working on, make sure that you're wearing your PPE. Um, if you wear the correct suite of PPE, you won't be electrocuted, it's as straightforward as that. So if you're out there uh, cleaning solar panels without PPE, then you are running the same risk as this gentleman was, and uh, you just don't know if the system that you're working on is gonna be faulty and will bring you the same end result as this unfortunate gentleman did in this news article. So please pay attention to this. It's the first of what I imagine to be many published articles over the years that we will read where people lose their lives. And so please just try to make sure that you're looking after yourself, look after your staff, and then therefore we will have less and less incidences like this. So yeah, please pay attention. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us through the website, www.theisca.org and we'll be glad to help and assist you all. Okay, stay safe.